it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing my current favorites and it's actually been super long time since I've done one of these. So I have some new things that I've been really, really obsessed with. So we will, and I've also added a few like home things as well. So it's a little bit of everything. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. This is anti-aging, fine lines, smoothing, refining, and glowing. It actually has green tea leaf, it's called Teoxy, but the actual leaves are in the actual product. Like when you put it on, like you have little bits of leaves on your face. Um, and this is basically a tingle mask. So you put it on your skin for 10 minutes. This is what it looks like inside. So it's kind of green. You put it on and it dries to like a lighter color green, but you can see all those little tea leaves in there. Um, and then this is what the actual patching looks like. So it's just the typical kind of glam glow as a star on the top. This one is tingling though. And basically what I've noticed when I use it is that it makes my skin super duper like smooth and just kind of like tight and not tight dry, but like tight, like, woo, I'm younger and glowy. It's really, really glowy when I'm done. It feels like a baby's bottom. It is so unbelievably smooth. It's got volcanic rock. The mud is French sea clay, and it basically is just supposed to give you that like really beautiful, like glowy perfection of skin. What I like about it is that once you're done, once the 10 minutes is up, you get just like a plain, um, you can get a washcloth or you can just use your fingers and some warm water and you just kind of like scrub the leaves into your face as you're like removing it. And that's what I think really exfoliates and really just gives you that super like tight, smooth, glowy skin. Oh, now he's texting me. And you can use this twice a week. So you don't want to use this every single day, but you definitely can use it twice a week. That's what the box looks like. So that's the first one that I've been loving. This is the Glam Glow Dream Duo Overnight Transforming Treatment. This is quite impressive and it smells unbelievable. It's supposed to be an afterglow, plump, radiant, smooth moisture. So you guys know I've had this silly little rash around my nose. I'm pretty sure I was overdosing my skin with glycolic because I stopped on the glycolic and I added a little bit of moisture and it seems to be going away. So I'm good, it doesn't hurt anymore. Um, but basically, this is like a little duo and one side, can you see, is white and then one side is this thicker kind of grayish formula. So that's what it looks like in the packaging. So the white side has this kind of like pinky, like opalescent glow. It's really gorgeous. And this is just for nighttime. This is just a night a nighttime treatment. So basically this is something that you can use every single night and it's just an overnight treatment that's supposed to kind of give you an extra like boost of moisture to your skin, give you that really glowy skin. It feels very supple and hydrated after you use it. It gives your skin the most gorgeous glow. It's super silky. It's really, really soft. And you wake up in the morning and your skin looks really, really nice, just really youthful. But the serum is the pearl one, that's like the white colored one. That's a melt-in serum with green coffee and green tea leaf teoxy. Antioxidants and supercharged essential vitamins provide an even flawless complexion. And then Dream Seal, which is the step two, which is the gray one, is a nourishing moisture boost of hyaluronic acid and mozuku green algae to plump and recharge, recharge skin's glow. You put the white one on first after you've done everything, you wash, you tone, you do whatever you do. Put the white one on first, let that sit for 30 seconds. It absorbs into the skin really nicely. And then you put the gray one on, on top. The gray one is very, very thick. It will make your skin really moistured, moistured, really moisturized, really glowy. Like you will feel like you don't want to wear this in the day. It's, it's a very thick, intense cream. But I feel like because I just felt like my skin was really dry right there. Like it just felt like a really dry, like winter cold, like maybe you've, been a little crazy with the glycolic so I just stopped the glycolic completely and then I've been putting this on at night um, on the days I don't do my retin-a and I feel like it really has made a difference because my rash is like it's going away it's not completely gone but it's not hurting it's not quite as red it just feels a little dry now it smells <laughs> do you know those chocolates okay if you live in the UK and you get a box of roses and you get the chocolate orange one that's exactly what it smells like if you live in the US, it's basically just like a chocolate orange or like those Terry chocolate oranges or like a, an orange creamsicle. It's orange sherbet. 
it's honestly the best smell ever. So you go to bed smelling like you could eat, eat yourself and it's delicious. So I highly recommend this stuff. It's amazing. You gotta smell it. At least go into the store and smell it. Cause once you smell it, you'll be like, man, I'm gonna buy this cause it smells so good. So next I have my current perfumes and this one I absolutely love. I got it out of my sister's storage. She left all of her stuff here when she moved and um, she basically just said, go through it. If you want it, you can have it. If you don't give it to my friend. So I was like, well, okay, well, I'll take a look. So this is the Intimately Beckham by Victoria Beckham. And that is what the actual packaging looks like. It's just a really pretty little, very feminine jar. It's kind of rose gold, a baby, like a very baby pink. It smells so fresh. It's like, it just smells, I don't know what this smells. It's very floral, but kind of sophisticated. It's just a really nice scent for fall. I love it. The other one that I've been wearing that I actually wore way, way back in the day is Alfred Sung She. I found this at TJ Maxx for like 13 bucks. It was super cheap. I love the little raindrop, kind of like teardrop packaging. It's very kind of like, I don't know, it's just super elegant. This is very fresh. Oh, I don't even know what it smells like. It's just a very fresh scent, kind of like, Think of like the watery, like oceany, bathroomy scents. It's just really nice. Again, I really like it for the fall. I don't know why. It's just very sophisticated. I like sophisticated scents in the fall. So I highly recommend both of those. As far as sunglasses go, I'm obsessed with these guys. I wear them like all the time when I'm going out. I just think they're so awesome. They look beautiful on. I love that people can't see your eyeballs so if you don't have any eye makeup on. Like, they're just really, really pretty. I love them. So I highly recommend these from Diff Eyewear. I do have a coupon code. It is Samantha15, which will save you 15% off. And for every single purchase made of the glasses, a reading pair or sorry, a pair of reading glasses is donated to rural Africa. So it's a good cause as well. My body wash, I lost this. I bought it and then I lost it and then I found it again. This is the Victoria's Secret Ultra Rich Cream Wash Cloudberry. Why does Victoria's Secret do this to me? I find a scent that I love and then it's not available anymore. It's just so annoying. I, I just, why, did they, why do these things happen? Uh, but anyway, if you can find this on eBay or Amazon or wherever, you know, people like hoard stuff and then they sell it and make a bunch of money. Um, this is Cloudberry. I highly recommend it. It smells, ah, uh, it smells like a fruity herbal essences. My phone is blowing up. Oh my gosh, he's trying to buy me Lululemon pants. Oh, this man is crazy. He's like shopping for my foundation and now he's trying to buy me Lululemon pants. So yes, love this. If you can find it, you should get it. Now on to like more makeup-y things. This is a palette that I'm wearing today. This is the B by Bubs Beauty BH Cosmetics. If you don't know who Bubs Beauty is, she is a YouTuber. She's so cute. And she came out with this palette, which is this like really soft, pale kind of pinky tone with a rose gold kind of lacy floral design. It's got 12 shadows. These are affordable because BH Cosmetics always is. And it says, be whatever you want to be bubby, which is really cute. So it has a nice size mirror and then you have all of these shades here and I will be doing a tutorial just using these, um, this palette. Um, but yeah, it's got some really beautiful colors. There's a really nice kind of like rosy gold in there. There's some great matte kind of nudes and browns. Then there's a couple of like really shimmery ones. There's some great highlight shades and then a couple purple ones. So it's a very nice palette for fall. Again, it's affordable. It's very sleek, great to travel with really impressed with the pigmentation. So I think she did a beautiful job with this palette. I would highly recommend it. Plus she seems like she's a really sweet girl. And I always think it's nice to support people that honestly and genuinely seem very kind. So in the mornings, sometimes I don't have time to do my full on face because it takes forever. Um, but sometimes I don't feel, I talk to a lot of parents and I'm self-conscious without having my makeup on and that's just me and that's just how it goes. Oh my gosh, he's still texting me about these pants. Um, and so sometimes I just wanna put like a little bit of something on my face, especially cause like right now I had to switch foundations because I ran out of my Estee Lauder and I've broken out, so wah. So I did have a couple of situations going on that I was like, man, I am not gonna go looking like this. So I've been using this. This is the new Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance wear powder foundation. I never wear powder, powder foundations ever because I feel like they look like poop when you wear them alone. However, with this brush, which is the core coverage brush from Bare Minerals, which looks like this, it's a snazzy little doodad. It's very cool. Um, and basically you just dip it into this powder, which has a big mirror 
and I basically just kind of do this or swirl it around and I just buff it into my skin. This gives you beautiful coverage. What it's very natural looking though. It's really, really like you just have nice skin. Um, but it does give you a coverage. It covers up anything that you need to cover up. So the coverage is beautiful. Um, the color that I have is Warm Natural Number 12. And it does come with a sponge, but I don't know, like sponges very much. So yes, I highly recommend this if you are someone who is maybe running you know, in the mornings and you just want to quickly put something on or maybe you don't like a whole lot of heavy foundation and you just want to like kind of give a little bit of coverage but you don't want super something super heavy, um, this would be a beautiful product for you because it feels very lightweight on the skin. It looks super skin-like. Like it does not look like you're wearing makeup at all. Even though it's powder, you would never know it's powder. It just kind of disappears into the skin. It's like a moisturizing powder. I will say if you have oily skin, beware. Even though this is a powder, I did notice my chin getting greasy and that was just after like maybe an hour of wearing it. So keep that in mind. This is not for oily skin, um, but this is a really great option if you just want something real quick, if you're running out and you don't want to have to like do your whole face, but you just want to look decent, I would highly recommend this because it's very, very natural looking and it looks really, really pretty on the skin. Okay, now I think we all know by now that I have been loving the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner. I've spoken about this in my top drugstore nudes or top drugstore products. This one is my Kate Rimmel. I wear it pretty much every day, but I just found a couple of new products that I like. This is the 54 Rock and Roll Nude. It's just an absolute, ah! absolutely beautiful nude color. Highly recommend it. Very affordable, gorgeous packaging. If you were on a budget, I would go with this for sure. They're absolutely, I've been wearing it so, so much. But then Smashbox has come out with a few more shades. I think it's 24 to be exact. Let me, let me check, maybe it's 21. Okay, well, altogether, they have 120 shades. So I don't know how many more they came out with, but they sent them to me. So there are three specifically that I love because they are all nudes. So the first one I really like is called Back Talk. And it is this really very plain koi from MAC, a very similar color. Um, but these are really beautiful on the lips. I have them on today. They're very glossy. They're very moisturizing. Um, they're just a really beautiful formula. It's almost like a lipstick and a gloss into one. So that is, um, what is this called? And they're small too. They're very little, guys. This is a uh, back talk. So you can see right there, it's just like a really soft pinky peach. Then we have the color, um... Nylon Nude, which is what I have on, well, I have all three on right now, but Nylon Nude is the top one. This one is just a really pretty, true nude. It's like, wah, very pale. Crap, man, this mess. I still haven't cleaned it. There's that one right there. So you can see this one's a bit more pink. This one is just a straight up nude. Again, very shiny, very glossy. Feels good on the lips. And then we have Chai, which is a little bit darker. It's more of kind of like a, a warm kind of, um nudish color. It's got a little bit of like an orangey. It's kind of very fall appropriate. So those three together are really beautiful. If you put chai on first and then the pink one over the top and then the um, the nude one on top of that, it looks really beautiful. Or I've also done it where I do the lip liner and then that really nude one over the top, which looks really beautiful. They're all really pretty colors and the formula is really, really nice. So um, it's definitely a little bit more shiny than the Rimmel. I like the Rimmel, but this one is just really glossy looking. So it's kind of nice because you can just wear it without any lip liner and um, it just gives a really nice look to the lips. Okay, and then there's one last thing that I want to talk about and this is just such a beautiful palette, guys. This is the 35F from Morphe. I pulled it out again because it was fall and it just has the most beautiful colors in the universe. It's just so pretty. They're so metallic. They're so pigmented. The mattes are really pigmented. The metallic-y kind of shimmery shades are really pigmented. They're just really amazing quality. And it's such a huge palette. Like, if you're traveling for the holidays, this is all you need. You can create so many different looks with this. Um, so Jaclyn Hill had mentioned that she had been using Morphe eyeshadows as her highlighter. And so I was like, man, I'm gonna try that. This wasn't the exact palette that she recommended, but this is the one that I have. So I actually have been using that one and that one as a highlighter. I did for a few days. 
It was an absolute beautiful highlighter. However, if you have acne prone skin, if your skin is just annoying and decides to like break out for no reason, I wouldn't recommend doing this because I did notice when I was using it, it was like, I don't know, I think I did it for like three or four days. Um, after a couple days, I noticed I was getting little kind of like white bumps around where I was putting my highlight, which doesn't ever happen to me. So while it was an absolute beautiful highlight, if you have sensitive skin or acne prone skin, don't do it because it did make me have like little bumps and it just didn't look very good. So if you don't have a problem, absolutely do it because it was really beautiful. It was like ding, like it really shone, 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 shine. Sh I'm having a brain fart. Anyway, but if you like eyeshadow, I don't ever have that problem on my eyelids. Luckily, it's the only place I don't get zits. I don't get them on my butt either. Um, but yes, such a good palette. Like this one right here is my favorite color. So, I mean, look how pigmented they are. They're just intense. This one also on the end is my other favorite color. Surprise, surprise, it's red. Um, I also really, really like this purple color. But you can see, like, you touch them once and it's just like butter. They're so good. So, highly recommend getting that palette. I will have a code down for you guys below if you do want to purchase this so you guys can save some money on it. But, yes, highly recommend it. It's, I mean, I've had it for a super long time. And I kind of, like, you know, you just forget about what you have. And then you're like, oh, wait, I think I had that Morphe palette that looks really fallish. And then you pull it out and you're like, man, why did I put, it, put this away? It's so good. So that is everything, guys. That's all of my current favorites right now. Um, I do like doing these videos. I find them very helpful to watch. They're my favorite videos to watch. Okay, I'm not going. Cadbury Dairy Milk English Toffee. These are so good. You guys have to get these. They're so amazing. They're absolutely delicious. They're the best way to end your day. I'll get Lily, okay, G Money? That's what he texts me in three different texts. I'm going for real now. Okay, goodbye. Thanks for watching.